Hey, what's good guys? Glad you're here. Sorry for the delay in videos. Um, I still noticed some of you guys have been subscribing in lately, so I really appreciate it. Give you a big thank you. And if you guys keep finding this content helpful, give me likes, give me subscribes, hit the notification bell. I want to keep pushing this stuff out. And it's a great way for me to engage with you, which I find fun. I mean, as a 3D artist, let's be real, this stuff gets kind of lonely sometimes. So it's a great way to engage in, in a broader community and it helps you guys out. And I've received so much, I like to give forward as well. So uh, enough just small talk here. Let's get going. What I want to cover today is a quick and easy tool called the uh, tools. It's the rename objects tool. So what this tool is really used for, um, I use it pretty much every day. So when I'm working, especially in big scenes and I have a lot of objects that have kind of default names, like you see this right here in my layers, you, I have tons of objects, just object, you know, number object with a suffix number. So, um, you know, you definitely don't want to pass forward a file with just really default names, blah names. You always want to keep things organized, optimized before you pass it forward down the pipeline. So. Um, so something I always do, you know, some of my final checks would be resetting an X form, going through my smoothing groups, making sure everything's zeroed out, um, in 3d space, right where it needs to be. And, and then the final thing I do is I make sure all my naming and layers are organized. I just like to keep things clean. I like to work clean and I don't always save it for the end, but I usually, I always do a final end check and make sure everything's uh, where it needs to be. So even as I'm working out, I'll, I'll use this tool. So let's get to it and get right to the business. Um, so let's say here I got a bunch of medicine bottles and some other cabinet items. So I'm just going to kind of click this stuff. Let's select it. I'm going to isolate. And um, you can see here some of this stuff's kind of named. Um, I'm going to throw, throw it on a new layer real quick. But um, you can see this stuff's kind of named, but it still isn't what I want it to be. It's still kind of blush. Um, you know, I could generalize and say medicine cabinet items and go from there. But I'm just going to use these bottles for now. So I'm going to click these medicine bottles, perfume bottles, whatever. Um, and I'm going to go here to the tool and we're going to go rename objects. So what we have here, um, you, know, you can go pick and pick it from your layer list. I rarely use that option, but I just go with what I selected, which I already did. And what we have here is we have a base name, prefix, remove first, remove last, suffix, and a numbered. I pretty much just use the base name. I'll use the suffix for uh, prepping files in the substance painter for baking. And I'll use the number. I, you know, always use the number for steps. So what I would do here, and actually let's select that bottle there too. Let's just go with our base name. So we'll go medicine bottle. We'll go camel case. And then what I'll, then what I usually do is I go numbered and I'll step it down. And I never like starting at zero. I just zero is not a number, right? So zero can get on out of here. Um, so we have everything selected. We click rename. And you can see right in our layers now, everything just renamed. Everything went, it's it's looking clean. It's looking good to go. And we can kind of continue to do that for, you know, we could we could do it even broader. I mean, we could select everything here and, you know, go medicine cabinet items, whatever. Um, unless you want to get specific and name things individually, towel, whatever. But uh, this is good for now. I mean, especially like if things don't really matter too much and you just want to kind of keep things clean without overdoing it too. I mean, again, you don't want to spend too much time going super perfectionist on this stuff. But if you want to quickly kind of rename and quickly clean up a file, especially before you pass it forward, this is a great way to do it. And another beautiful thing is we'll take the numbered off here. Again, I really rarely use the prefix. I never really see the need, but the suffix is huge because we use suffixes for baking and substance painter, right? So what I would do is I'm going to re-isolate just these bottles. And you know, I would, I would either save an iterative file for a low poly and then save an iterative file for a high poly, or you could do it in your layers. Um, you know, again, you could, you know, just make sure your names line up, you know, and you could copy and clone this stuff, but again, you're going to have to switch your names up a little bit. Um, so sometimes just keeping the names as is and saving an iterative file is the way to go. So there's always different ways to attack this stuff, find what works for you. Um, but again, so we have our suffix here. Now what we can do is we can go underscore low poly and we, we can rename this stuff. And actually, you know what? It did, uh, it didn't keep my numbers, unfortunately. So let's redo that. Let's keep it numbered um, and let's add the suffix as well. So then I can rename that and then we get the low poly and ah, that's not actually what we want. But um, so anyway, let's see here. Actually, we're going to keep the, I, no, sorry. This is my bad guys. You want to deselect everything and just add the suffix. There we go. So now we got the suffix right after the whole name. I was changing the base name. That's why everything was going wonky. So you deselect the base name. You just add a suffix and now we have our low poly suffix. 
So then we would export this as an FBX, put it in a substance painter, and we would do the same if we wanted, uh, you know, we would save our high poly object and we would go high poly, rename. Um, I, oh, again, now here, that's where you'd want an iterative file because it's just gonna keep adding suffix after suffix after suffix. So you'd have your two different, different max files. You would uh, you know, make sure all your naming's the same in both files, and then you would just add your suffixes to both files, export those objects, your low poly. I usually like to go low poly with an FBX, a high poly with an OBJ, just the way I like to do it. And there you go, guys. So you know, I don't need to spend, spend much more time on this. Very simple tool, but super, super helpful. Um, I can't emphasize it enough. Especially, I like to work really clean, really tight. You're probably not seeing this in this file right now. There's an old work in progress file that I'm going to get back to. But um, but especially in the end game, before I pass stuff up, I always go through and clean things up. I organize my layers. I make sure everything's uh, cleanly named and well enough. I mean, again, I'm not going to go through and individually name things and then you know type it up and and, and go through it like that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be that meticulous. But again, this is a great way to just kind of do things on a broad level. So I uh, hope that helped guys. And again, you know, give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a comment. I always love your comments. I love giving feedback and I'm still learning. I'm no master at this at all, but I still feel as though I can share what I do know and give back. So again, if you find it helpful, uh, yeah, support the channel, man. And I'll keep busting things out. So thanks for stopping by guys.